Hi there, sweethearts, and welcome to our channel, Ina Rabino Dahilig. If you are new to our channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, click the notification bell for more updates on our newest videos. In today's vlog, we'll have a special guest today, but I'm going to be sharing with you a movie review. And the movie is called Hatchy, A Dog's Tale. So sa mga kaibigan ko, especially those who really know me so well, ang mga genre ng movie ko na pinapanood ay hindi mga love story, hindi drama, hindi rin comedy, kundi mga horror, uh, adventure, um, action. So mga ganong tema, thriller, ganon. So mga suspense. Kasi um, yun yung parang stress reliever ko and at the same time, um, I don't know, for some reasons, mga ganun yung uh, genre ng movie na pinapanood ko. Hindi ako masyato sa mga love story yung pinapakilig-kilig. So anyway, halos lahat ng mga thriller or mga horror movies sa Netflix ay napanood ko na. And... Um, na-mention sa akin ng isa kong friend, magsha-shoutout ako sa friend ko na si Lydia Howitt. She loves dogs a lot. She actually owns a pet dog. So she used to own a dog. Uh, his name is, um, oh, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, pero the name of the dog is actually Sherman. But I think it's a male dog. Um, his name is Sherman. Pero after, I think, more than 10 years, he finally, you know, um, passed away. And then, because Sean ang husband niya, yung friend ko na si Lydia, they love dogs a lot. So right now, yung pinalit nila kay Sherman is uh, another big dog and its um, name is Bobo. Bobo, ayan. So, kasi pag nag-adapt ka ng dog, sometimes kung ano yung, and most of the times, yun yata yung nangyayari. I have not uh, experienced adopting a dog yet. So, uh, ang ginagawa yata kapag nag-adapt ka ng dog, kung ano yung existing na name ng dog, yun na yung ipapangalan mo para hindi ma-confuse yung aso. Ganon. So, the name of the dog is Bobo. And so, they didn't change the name anymore. Actually, um, na-mention yun sa akin na if in case lang, I'd, I'd love to watch a movie, uh, give Hachi a try, this movie, na i-review ko nga kasi it's a really good movie especially if you love dogs so ako nung una parang medyo hindi ko agad siya pinanood um, kasi feeling ko kung drama hindi nga ako masyado sa drama I mean to act uh, in a dramatic film gusto ko pero yung manood um, over thriller or horror films parang mas, mas gusto ko yung uh, mga horror films I, I don't know, kasi nung bata pa ako, I, I, I love watching, alam mo, yung mga Friday the 13th, <laughs> yung mga um, Wednesday Shopper, yung mga ganun, yung mga pinapanood ko ng ano, nung araw, yung mga program sa TV. <laughs> so, nahilig ako talagang tinatakot ko yung sarili ko. I don't know, for some reasons. But, but anyway, so hindi ko agad pinansin or binigyan ng time na manood ng Hachi kasi sabi ko, um, parang nakikinikinit ako na yung mga, mga animal or yung mga pet movies. Parang walang masyadong action. Sabi ko kasi nga animal sila. So parang ganun unless magiging monster. But anyway, so ang weird, no? But anyway, so um, yung Hachi is, a, is not a new movie actually, but it was just recently added to Netflix uh, lineup nung May 1st. Pinanood ka ata siya mga second week or third week na ng, ng May. So parang a week, I think I watched it a week ago, no? So mga third week. And um, ang reason, kasi sabi ng friend ko, if, if you're a dog lover, you will be able to appreciate it. Pero um, kasi hindi, wala akong aso right now, no? And it's been a long time since I had my last, you know, pet dog. Actually, I love dogs. The only thing is that after mamatay nung pet dog ko back in the Philippines, it was just a gift to me. Uh, nung namatay yun, nahirapan akong mag-set sa mind ko to have another dog. Kasi parang, yung, yung dog kasi parang pag na-attach sa'yo, alam mo yung emotions, ang hirap-hirap. Kasi I remember when my pet dog, um, Actually, ang pangalan niya is Mordok. No? It was given to me by a special friend. I really love the dog kasi, you know, that was the last dog I 
actually took care of and um pero i think eh, kasi nga magtihiwalay kami like during the weekends i would see the dog pero pagbalik ko na ng Manila one whole week di ko siya makikita and then nung pag-uwi ko na ng Batangas i learned na sabi ng kapatid ko nasagasaan daw because yung gate ng bahay na iwang open so tumakbo and um as hindi ko na siya nakita alam mo yon so iyak ako nang iyak i was crying the whole time tapos inabot pa na kinabukasan bug tumog to yung mata ko so ang hirap because yung nag-invest ka na emotions for a dog kasi yung yung dog pag namahal ka nila alam mo yung lumulundag sa iyo yung sobrang amo-amo sa iyo para inaamoy amo ka yung parang alam nila na at yung amo ko so it was so hard for me it was a little heartbreaking because napaka tragic ng pagkamatay ng aso hindi nan hindi siya nagkasakit um actually nagkasakit siya noon but you know my friend Susan Susan Banawa um she I think injected. She said, "Oh, may sakit yung aso mo na nakita pa niya noon I was with singles workers at that time. So, eh, tinuro ka na yun and then um, sumidla ulit. Kasi, well, kasi, wala akong masyadong alam dun sa mga, you know, mga injections or stuff like that. So, alam mo naman pag, you know, hindi naman talaga yung parang may breed na aso na talagang alam na alam mo na you have to go to the vet. Nung mga, nung bata pa kami, we used to take care of, in, pag, kanyar, nanganak yung aso ng kapitbahay mo, tapos hihihi ka, hindi mga ganun klase pa. And then, mag, ano to, mabubuntis, magkakanak na ulit, kaya magkakaroon ka ng mga puppies sa bahay. So, mahili ako yung nagpapaligo, nagpapakain ng ganyan, pero hindi talaga siya yung because may breed tapos dalhin mo sa mga vet kapag nagkaroon ng sakit. But actually, yung husband ko used to have a pet dog then It's a Labrador. It's a very sweet dog. Kaya lang, um, pagka malaki na, nagugulat kasi ako pag dumadamba ng ganun kasi it's, you know, bigger than me. So, ang name niya is Pacholo. We had to let go of Pacholo because we don't have, we didn't have the time to take care of the dog. So, kasi nga, mas malaki pa sa akin and tapos magbibaby na ako noon. So, I really didn't have the time to take care of a dog. And then, recently, because my kids really wanted to have a dog, I don't feel na, na ready na kami to take care of a dog because if you have a dog here, hindi naman siyang kagay sa Philippines na iiwanan mo lang, nakatali lang sa bahay mo, hindi naman ganun siya eh. So, kunyari, if we travel or we go out of the country or, of, you know, out of town, um, out of state, ang hirap naman na naiiwan yung aso or kaya kung dadali namin. Parang, I don't feel na we're ready for it na. But then, um, saka ako kulit ng dalawa, um, sinabi ng friend ko nga na Lydia na you can actually adapt a dog, a dog So, nag-check ako sa website, ganyan. And then, uh, um, I found this um, dog na gusto namin yung hindi lumalaki, maliliit na dogs lang. And then, yung name ng dog is um, uh, Paco. Siya yung hindi lumalaki. No? So actually, um, we chose uh, between the two puppies. Yung isa is, uh, I think, a chihuahua. But, um hindi namin pinili yun. So, si Paco sana. So, we applied for it but um, unfortunately, hindi kami nakapasa because wala naman kaming record na, you know, nakapag-alaga kami talaga ng, ng dog. So, we failed. And so, sabi ko, next time na lang siguro when we are ready, when we have our own yard. So, para maalgaan. And, you know nga, um, if we don't have the luxury of time to really take care of dogs, unfair naman sa mga aso, di ba? So, but anyway, going back, a week ago, I had a chance to watch a movie. Ayun nga, I gave Hachi a try and it's, the the movie is actually Hachi, A Dog's Tale, no? And this is um starring Richard Gere and uh, Joan Allen. It was a um, 2009 film. Actually, hindi, parang, kung tutusin, parang it's a remake na eh because the original movie is a uh, Hachiko kasi Hachiko talaga yung um, name ng dog. It's a true to life story by the way and um, Hachiko is the name of the dog in Japan um, owned by a Japanese. Si Hachiko or si Hachi has a statue 
in Tokyo, Japan. So if you go to Tokyo, Japan, you would be able to see the statue of Hachi because um, napakaganda nung naging story niya. Kaya ginawan siya ng monumento talaga, no? At first, when I was watching it, parang inisip ko, what do I have to expect? Kasi yung friend ko, si Lydia, she didn't say anything. Sabi lang niya, if you get a chance, you watch it. I didn't ask my friend, basta sinabi lang niya. So, I, you know, I, I was like thinking na baka, you know, another typical drama movie with a dog. So, sabi ko, ano kayo magiging progress ng movie? So, madali kasi akong mabor sa ganun. But anyway, eto na. Um... Hindi ko sasabihin, syempre, sa inyo yung the whole story because I want you to also see it because it's still on Netflix. And uh, gusto ko na kayo mismo magsabi how you like the movie. Pero ako talaga, um, when I was watching it, talagang inoobserbahan ko lahat ang magiging progress. And um, napaka, actually, napaka-light lang yung movie, no? Um, parang nagkaroon lang muna ng parang current time. And then... Um, he, and that I didn't know no, no, na parang nag-start siya sa carrot and then it went back to flashbacks no? so nung, nung una ganun lang pero yung plot is very simple lang but eto ang maganda as the movie progresses ayun na hindi, eto yung mga hindi ko in-expect eto yung mga surprises sa movie na hindi ko in-expect ang level ng pagkadrama niya, yung, yung pag-steer up ng emotions na hinugot dito because of the dog na si Hachi nga, no? Um, sobra ang naging, ano, it's, um, how do you call that? Hindi siya drama because it's a forceful drama. Hindi siya yung parang pinupwersa ka na maiyak. Talagang very subtle yung yung pag uh, down ng kanyang istorya. Pero unti-unti kang dinudurog, kinukurot. Hanggang nakita ko yung sarili ko crying. So I was crying. And I thought, that's it. Tapos may eksena na naman na talagang I was really, really crying. I was really in tears. And then nakala ko yun na. It's very it's a very good movie no na parang mag mag uh, contemplate ka and magre-reflect ka. especially yung mga dog lovers lalo na yung mga dog lovers yung mga walang alagang aso could relate to it what more those people who have really suffered from yung alam mo yun a great loss of a pet dog na you have loved for so many years and then pag nawala diba so this one is baligtad no Um, yung synopsis kasi niya is the great love of a dog to his master na hindi niya iniwan talaga until the master passes away and yung dog never ever left and nag-hope pa rin yung dog that the master is still alive na magkikita pa rin sila. Grabe yung, yung love talaga and respect of that dog. Okay, parang nararamdaman ko yung emotions, no? And there's this one, so yung unang, you know, yung unang eksena na ipinakita na yung dog was expecting the master to come. Tapos tingnan ninyo ko anong, abangan nyo ko anong mangyayar doon sa sinasabi kong yun. Doon, umiyak na talaga ako, umiyak. And then, habang nangyayari yung mga ganon, yung parang prolonged agony na hindi naman ma-explain ng dog, ang sakit-sakit, no? Ang sakit-sakit talaga. Um, I'm actually planning to watch it again and um, siguro with my son. So, um, kasi, because yun nga, sinasabi nila na they want to to start taking care of a dog. Um, yung eksena na hindi ko in-expect na uh, Hachi with John Allen, ayun na. Ayun na. Isa pang isa pang eksena na talagang wow. Alam mo yung pinipinch yung ano mo, yung dibdib mo, yung, yung puso mo. Grabe talaga. Actually, habang nagkupat ako sa inyo, ang sakit-sakit na throat ko because um, sobrang fresh pa sa, sa memory ko yung, yung mga eksena. And to think that um, Hachi became famous in that community. Siguro pag nagkaroon ako ng new pet dog, 
ang papangalan ko siguro Hachi, no? Kasi um, sobra, eh, parang you can train a dog. Ang uh, dami naman diyang nagti-train ng mga dogs, no? Um, pero ito talaga yung parang um, especially pag inisip mo na in real life talaga, that's what he did. Uh, kung akala mo yung tao yung hindi natuturuan, you know, if they love someone, they really love someone, ganun din pala yung aso. Even if you tell them, stop na, you have to move on, you have to let go. The dog will also injure the pain of um, waiting. <laughs> Sakit sa talaga sa throat. Kasi panoorin niyo talaga yung movie, I'm giving it a five star. No, five star talaga. Hindi na ako magsasabi ng four star pa. I'm really giving it a five star because this is not the typical movies that I watch on Netflix or, yeah, on Netflix or Amazon Prime. Um, pero I'm really thankful to my fan, Lija, for telling me about the movie na panoorin ko, although she didn't really tell me any clue. I have no hint actually of what to expect from this movie. But I was really thankful that I watched it and that she mentioned about this movie na panoorin ko. So um, again, I'm planning to watch it again and sabihin mo sa akin kung hindi ka iiyak, talagang hindi lang isang beses kang iiyak and ang level ng pag-iyak mo is pahigpit ng pahigpit. This is really a movie worth watching, especially with your kids and especially if you own a dog. Watch the movie Hachi, A Dog's Tale. I hope mapanood nyo yung, um, yun nga, Hachi. Magtabi ka ng tissue talaga beside you kasi talaga yung pag-iyak mo is uh, intense. Sa akin, intense. I don't know with you, pero... Uh, kung hindi man intense sa magiging pag-iyak mo, matigas yung dibdib mo, I'm pretty sure talagang magiging emotional ka when you watch Hachi a Dog's Tale. Doon naman sa mga nakapanood na ng movie na to, please feel free to comment on the comment section down below. And tingnan nyo kung pareho ba tayo ng naging reaction about this movie na yun nga, it's very emotional, uh, tearjerker talaga itong movie na to, and mapapasabi ka, oh Hachi, I really love you. So, ayun lang. And, of course, in real life, patay na si Hachi, kasi it's been a while, kasi ang lifespan naman ng aso, it's like 10 years. Pag lumapasa ng 10 years, you know, good for him. Pero, they're too old na, no? Magiging weak pa rin. So, that's actually what happened yata with my friend's dog, si Sherman. So, nag like more than 10 years na siya. So, you know, um, kumaga expected yun ng mga owner, dog owners na eventually mamamatay na talaga sila because of old age o old day sa kanya. So, but anyway, I hope na um, may na-share ako sa inyo about the dog. Yun nga, sinasabi nila, uh, dogs are uh, man's best friend. Totoo naman yan, no? Talagang parang uh, yung ibang mga tao na wala silang mga babies, wala silang mga anak, they always get a dog. Kasi parang uh, for them to feel na parang they have somebody to be with them, no? May companion sila at the same time. Para silang mga tao, no? Uh, hindi nga lang sila nagsasilita like humans do. Pero talagang yung emotions parang heart to heart na no, nagkakaunawaan. If you want me to review another movie, please uh, leave me a comment kung ano yung mga gusto nyong movie na gusto nyong i-review ko. Tingnan natin kung ano yung magiging reaction ko dun sa movie. No? So, but anyway, this is a really good movie that the whole family can watch. The parents can watch with the kids um, or yung couple who have no babies or no kids watch this movie and for sure talagang magugustuhan mo. So, yun lang mga sweethearts and um, lagi ko nga sinasabi sa inyo, always be thankful, always be prayerful, be grateful for all the blessings big and small. I love you so much. Bye!